All right, hey, hi, everybody, this is Big here, and, um, and this is the final three-parter something, something, something the Pika Talks video, and this one's going to be tired of relationships. Oh, boy. <laughs> Goddamn. I'm, again, I'm sorry. I'm on Skype at the moment. But relationships, we all know what they are. Granted, I've never been in one myself, and it's taken forever. But I've seen plenty of them, and and this is actually kind of funny because I think at around Thanksgiving I made I actually wrote a rant about couples and shit. I put I I took a screenshot of it. I posted it up on Twitter and Facebook. I mean, not a lot of people noticed it, but it's like I'm actually. But I was actually really hoping no one would notice it. Because here's the thing, I could get in a lot of I could get in a lot of trouble for just bringing. I don't care if the if I didn't mention names at all. Like I seriously mentioned their situations clear and and stuff on that rant. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was my phone alarm. You heard? I, yes, I set it on the weekends to go off at midnight, and been like that ever since. Anyway, but. Where do I begin? I guess first of all, what is a relationship? Well, a relationship is basically, I mean, technically it could be considered dating or couples, but it's mostly just two people, you know, dating and being affectionate and stuff. However, but but the main core of what I'm talking about is the breakups. Oh God. Breakups are actually really bad, depending on who's doing who, what couple are break, which couple are breaking up, and who are the and who's doing the dumping. And this t this ties in with the social media video. Anyway, I'm not gonna mention what I've been looking at for the past five days, maybe. It's been almost a week, actually. Okay. But. But. People. Over romanticize. There we go. Ro relationships. We think they're all happy and hunky and dory and everything's all right and shit. And I'll admit, it feels good. And I'll admit, I use that shit every, in every one of my stories. But I will say this every relationship has its downs. I mean, you have fights, you, I mean, it's mostly fights. I mean, but I will say this, my parents have been married for almost 14 years, been together for almost 20. I mean, and as far, and as, far as I know, they've only had two fights in their entire marriage. I only remember two because I was, because I can somewhat remember them. But... <laughs> But most couples don't seem to follow my parents' logic. I mean, and we see most couples fighting over financial, like, money issues, uh, like, lack of affection issues, and trust issues, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I mean, while my parents aren't very, you know, affectionate towards each other, and they don't, they don't fight about it, I mean, basically... I mean, basically, it's like, I know they love each other. I know that much. Plus, it just kind of grosses me out to see them affectionate, because ne they've never been like that in my entire life. But they also don't fight about the money issues. I mean, I mean, mostly because, like, what, I mean, you can't fight over, you can't fight over money when there is none, right? I mean, I mean, they do, they do argue. I will say this, but that's mostly whenever my brother decides to trick my dad into buying him a game that we can't afford. And my, I'm sorry if you can hear my chair squeaking. And and they do trust each other very much. Like, I mean, and that's part of the really. And I will say this: I'm actually afraid to get into a relationship because I know, because I feel that you know. There's gonna be the inevitable heartbreak and pain, but I'm not gonna get into that. But, 
but but social media websites and relationships do not go well with each other do not bode well especially when you especially during the breakup process uh, and of course my screen goes inactive because I've been gone for five minutes thanks a lot <laughs> laptop <laughs> Anyway, but, uh, so... But, um, yeah. So... <sighs> I was, like... I mean... Because when you post shit up... I mean, if you, if you even post arguments up on... On a social media website, people are gonna go at it. Like, I mean, because you, like... Especially famous couples too, where it's like, where it's like you have one set of fans on this one person's side and the other, and another set of of fans on this person's side. It's it's pure chaos, and that's why I particularly don't get into any of the uh, into any of the famous couples. I don't even know who are together and who are married anymore because celebrities like to break up and divorce and marry all over again. <laughs> because I just don't want to see all the drama and and again this kind of ties in with don't bring your relationship problems on new social media websites because people are gonna twist twist your words and make it out into something that's not true just don't I mean God knows that if I ever got into a relationship I mean yeah I'll post I'll be posting some happy pics of me and my boyfriend and crap but but when I bring my problems into onto the social media websites, no. When I talk about them with a close friend, yes. On social media websites, yes. Because I would need support. Support! There we go. <laughs> anyway. Apple. Anyway, so... I guess that's about it, about relationships. Just, But again, just don't bring problems of the relationship into onto Twitter or Facebook. People will tear... The people will tear each other apart, <laughs> and th and so that ends the badly organized, disorganized three-parter video series. And uh, yeah, so I'm sorry for the lack of Pika Talks videos lately. It's just there hasn't been really much to talk about that really gets my opinion going. But yeah, these three videos I just wanted to do because they've been on my mind for a little bit, and yeah. So, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys again for the next Pick a Talks video, so, see ya!